Oh, hi, I'm Andre, product manager for WebViewer, and I'm excited to walk you through WebViewer 8.2 release that includes focus on the annotation experience as well as improvements to the page manipulation and the notes panel. Let's take a look first at the page manipulation panel or the thumbnail panel first. I'll do so by opening it uh, using this uh, button right here. And as you can see that we rearranged and changed some of the icons. Instead of keeping rotate clockwise and counterclockwise, we just left the rotate clockwise in place and we added a new context menu that you can access under the three dots. Now inside of it, you have a variety of different new functionalities that make the life much, much easier for when it comes to editing and manipulating pages. So for example, here I can select a set of pages and easily move them to the top or the bottom of the document without having to scroll through, you know, let's say we have a document that contains hundreds of pages. We can just pick up, select the pages and easily move them to the top, to the bottom. I have also my page orientation actions available as well. And new page insertion functionality to insert a blank page above or below. One of the functionalities that I want to show you in this one is ability to replace pages. So let's say I want to go ahead and pick a different front page for this specific document. All I have to do from this selection right here, I'll go ahead and press replace. I have a number of different options available to me where I can pick the documents from. Because we are an SDK and go inside of other products, what I can do is I can integrate it uh, easy with my existing application that I'm embedding WebViewer inside of and connect it to all the different files that are available with this specific project or a case. So all we have to do is just call an API and pass it a, an object that contains URL and the name of the files that we would like for the user to list. If not, that's not available, we can easily go ahead and hide that and instead allow user to pass a URL or instead just go ahead and upload from their desktop. And this is the file that I want to go ahead and select. It will visualize all the pages for me and inside of it I will just go ahead and select just the first page that I'm trying to replace with a fresher new cover right here and I'll hit replace. And as you can see instantaneously, we have a fresher document uh, front page replaced for us. Next, what I want to show you is let's go ahead uh, try the new selection mode available right here. So I can select multiple pages and I can extend out this panel and now we have check marks right here that are available. I can also hold down shift and perform a range selection or holding down command or control just to pick up that extra page that I want to do. And all the common actions kind of rotating are available right here on the top. Same thing for replacing pages capability or even extraction of the pages. Let's go ahead and clear our selection and insert a blank page on first page right here. So all I gotta do is insert blank page above. Awesome, so now we'll have a blank canvas available for us where we can get a little bit creative and go ahead and enter inside of the annotation mode. And inside of annotation mode, I'm gonna go ahead and pick free text annotation. And inside of free text annotation, we have a number of different new options available to us. So here I can go ahead and pick the different text tabs that are available to me, as well as different font sizes. So let's say I wanna go ahead and make a heading for this specific page. So I'll choose 30 points, Helvetica is still fine with me, and we're gonna come back to some of the alignment or justification later. So now let's go ahead and draw the box right here. And I will say PDF Trans Web Viewer, 8.2 release. And maybe I want this text to actually appear slightly different. So all I have to do is go ahead and press the styling and inside of the styling, I want to go ahead and align the text in the center and maybe also align it to the middle of the box. Awesome. So this looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and move it ever so slightly to the kind of center of the page and leave it there. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the no panel improvements. So over on no panel right here, uh, it now shows the comment count, how many comments I have on the specific documents. As you notice right here, there's a new filter icon 
as well for just showing me just the right annotations. And let's say we're, let's just pretend for a second that this is a document review or a document contract rather, and I want to go ahead and review on a certain point in that specific contract that maybe I want to provide my feedback or comments about. So right over here, I can click on this and I can expand this to see all of the different text uh, that I highlighted and go ahead and place my comment specifically related to this highlight. So I really like this paragraph. And now I can go ahead and save. Now, anybody coming in later and wanting to comment on this specific annotation can simply add a reply. Let's say they type in awesome. And as you can notice here, there's a new icon that allows us to have a little bit more room for our reply box to send. So I'm gonna go ahead and send. And as you can see here, there's a new kind of revamp styling that enables more easier for our eyes to kind of track and follow the conversation on the specific annotation comment or reply. This is just some of the improvements and changes that we have done and introduced in Webinar 8.2. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any feedback for future releases, something that you would like to see through the web year, do not hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching.